I know I'm a minute late, folks. I'll be right with you. Good morning. And welcome to the April 7th meeting of the Cumberland County Board of Commissioners. Commissioner Billy King is not available this morning. He's not able to be with us, but he has for us to provide the invocation. Reverend Phyllis Jones, of Associate Minister of Lewis Chapel Missionary Baptist Church. Come forward, please. Thank you. And Assistant County Attorney. And, and assistant. assistant County Attorney. How could I forget that? Good morning. Good morning. Let us pray. Gracious God, we thank you for this day and the blessings of being citizens of the United States and North Carolina and residents of Cumberland County. We thank you, O oh God, for this woman and these men who have given themselves in service to our county. We pray that they may genuinely serve the people they were elected to represent. We ask that you give them vision to see the issues, courage to uphold what they believe is right, and integrity in their actions and motives. In their anxieties, be thou their security. In their opportunities, O oh God, please be their inspiration. By their plans and their actions, may thy will be done. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Join me, please, um, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Oh, uh, Reverend Jones. Sir, it is always an honor and a privilege for us as a Board of Commissioners to recognize a leader, a member of the Cumberland County family, and in this case, an elected leader who has received one of the highest awards, especially a national award. This morning, I want to present to Sheriff Butler, again, he recently received it, but I'm going to present it again, and I hope I pronounce this correctly. Sheriff Earl Moose Butler recently received the Egon Bittner Award from the Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, which is called CALEA, during the organization's March 22nd national meeting in California. Sheriff Butler, we know, is a pioneer when it comes to law enforcement, and he is the first law enforcement officer from North Carolina to receive the Bittner Award, which honors chief executive officers who have commanded a CALEA accredited agency for 15 or more continuous years, and it recognizes their significant contributions to the public safety profession and to CALEA. In November, the Sheriff's Office received its sixth consecutive three-year CALEA accreditation. 
Sheriff Butler began the accreditation process shortly after taking office in 1994. The Commission on Accreditation for Law Enforcement Agencies, Incorporated, is the world recognized credentialing authority established and maintained through the joint efforts of law enforcement's major executive associations. It is responsible for maintaining the highest standards for law enforcement agency operations throughout the United States through its accreditation process. The purpose of this organization is to improve the delivery of public safety services, primarily by maintaining a body of standards developed by the safe public safety practitioners, which covers a wide range of up-to-date public safety initiatives. Sheriff Butler, you've done a lot of things. But I want to be the first in Cumberland County Commissioner, first commissioner, Usually. to officially um, hand you this in front of all of our citizens, and it says the Egon <coughs> Bittner Award for Excellence in Leadership of a Kalia Accredited Law Enforcement Agency for a period of 15 or more continuous years, and is presented to Sheriff Earl R. Moose. Butler, they even call you Moose. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> Cumberland County Sheriff's Office, March 22, 2014. Thank you. Thank you. And let me put it this way. We're going to take an official picture. Oh, yeah. We'll do that. I'll hug you. Tom won't care. <laughs> okay. Thank you so, Thank you so much. much. Would you have words for I, us? I can speak for that. Let me just say. Of course, it does take a team effort, and the Cumming County Sheriff's Office, we work very hard to do what's right, and through accreditation, that's why you do what's right, because you have policies and procedures that you must follow in order to be accredited. And we're proud of the Cumming County Sheriff's Office, but I'm proud of the team that we have over there working together. So this is a team effort, and we really appreciate uh, Kalia for recognizing. Thank you. Thank you. I have the distinct honor also of, of honoring uh, three of our Planning and Inspections Department employees. Uh, I'd like for them to come forward at this time. Uh, Tom Lloyd, Cecil Combs, and Ken Sykes. You all come stand right here. Uh, <clears throat> these employees recently uh, received the Patriot Awards from the Secretary of Defense for their support of Air Force Reservist, uh, for an Air Force Reservist who is also here this morning, who works as a code enforcement officer with the department. And in a minute, I'm going to ask you to stand up here. Uh, Planning Director Tom Lloyd, Deputy Director Cecil Combs, and court en Code Enforcement Manager Ken Sykes were recognized for their support of Christopher Fulton, an Air Force Reserve Staff Sergeant who has been em employed with. Cumberland County government for three years and has been a planning and inspections code enforcement officer for a year. Uh, Fulton is assigned to the 440th Airlift Wing based at Pope Army Airfield and has served in Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Um, so Christopher, if you come stand with us. Um, we thank you for your service and for protecting our freedom. Uh, and uh, <clears throat> these awards were presented on March the 4th uh, by the Reserve and National Guard uh, group called ESGR, which is North Carolina Employer Support of Guard and Reserve Committee. And 
The award acknowledges the employer's efforts to support citizen warriors. Now, he doesn't look much like a warrior, but uh, uh, I'm sure he is. Through such measures as flexible scheduling, time off prior to and after deployment, care for families, and leave of absence if needed. So it's an honor for me this morning to present these in no particular order, but uh, these are given by the Office of the Secretary of Defense for employer support of the Guard and Reserve to, first of all, Ken Sykes. Congratulations, sir. <clears throat> and Cecil Combs. Yes, sir. And, of course, our own Tom Lloyd, planning director. We're proud of all y'all, and uh, would you like to say anything? Cecil, you got something to say? I'd just like to say that uh, Christopher's a great employee and most of this credit really should go to Ken Sykes who as manager of that section um, manipulates the workload so that it's a lot easier for uh, the staff when Christopher's gone. So Ken Sykes does a great job with that. Let's give him a hand. When the sheriff came around to shake hands, and I, I want to say to you, Sheriff, thank you for the number of years and for what you do for the county of Cumberland. You have been a tremendous leader here in Cumberland County, and we appreciate, I know I appreciate everything that you do, sir. And please forgive me for not having been in place with, whenever you came around, but you have my utmost respect. Um, for the service that you give to the citizens here in Cumberland County, and we're very grateful. Thank you, sir. Okay. I need to, um, before I uh, actually go forward with the approval of the agenda, I need to note that um, Deputy Manager Anon, Am Amy Cannon now has a new title. In fact, it's not brand new. This is her, the beginning of her seventh day as interim manager for the Cumberland County Board of Commissioners and the entire county of Cumberland. And I noticed the chair that she moved to is smaller than the chair that she usually sits in. <laughs> but Amy, you fit it well. Thank you so much. And now I ask you if there are changes to the um, agenda. Yes, ma'am. Madam Chair, I'd like to ask if we could add an item to the consent agenda. It would be item 2L. It was an item that was um, considered and approved at the Finance Committee meeting last week. And due to the essence of time, we'd like to add it today. It is the recommendation regarding an amendment to the Transportation Enhancement Grant for the Transportation Museum at the Aphisboro Battlefield, and copies of the item have been placed at your desk. Without objection, we will consider this um, item uh, L2L. Um, is there a motion for the approval? Madam Chair, make a motion to approve the agenda with the changes. Second. All right, it's been moved and seconded that we approve the agenda with the addition. Those in favor? Unanimous. Thank Madam you. Chair, let me just add one correction on the uh, closed sessions. We do actually, I think one of the closed session items was, was misidentified. We, there will also be a closed session item for uh, 31811A1, a matter that's uh, confidential by another statute and the confidentiality mm -hmm. needs to be preserved. Wait a minute. So we now have four closed sessions. That's correct. Oh my goodness. Okay. <clears throat> Item. Okay. What kind of matters did you say? 
I was going to make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Thank you. Um, Madam Chair, I make a motion to approve the consent agenda. Second. All right, you've heard the motion. Those in favor? Unanimous. And that is unanimous. Item. Item number three. Yes, ma'am. Um, item number three is report on county participation in regional transit efforts. And I'm going to ask Mr. McFadder to come forward and give you a briefing. While he's coming to the podium, I want to um, bring to your attention that there was a press release on March 27th, and it discussed um, regional transit efforts. The county um, staff, as well as um, the chairman, Council has been a part of um, these efforts, and I'm going to ask Mr. McFadder to give you some background information. Looks like the first thing I need to do is turn the microphone around. Yep. There we go. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, just here to give a brief update on uh, our participation in transit efforts. Um, as you'll note in your, <coughs> excuse me, your memo, uh, officials from the city of Fayetteville, uh, Cumberland County, Hope County, and Harnett County. Hope Mills, Spring Lake, and Fort Bragg have held meetings uh, beginning in January to talk about transit, kind of look at what we have now and what we can do to improve our efforts. Uh, the meeting in January also noted the need to review the current transit structure in our region and examine various means and methods for improvement in our current system. Uh, in February, we looked at the multiple providers of transit in the area, the menu of modes and services, and the funding transit in North Carolina that have helped provide these services. Uh, in March, uh, we met with consultant Mr. Dan Boyle, who talked about um, the current system that we have, um, in, in addition to the scope of work that he's been tasked with from the city of Fayetteville. Um, and what we plan to do is once we get the results from the consultant, which should be by the end of the month, we'll come back to you all with those, uh, with those results. If I may add, Madam Chair, basically step one is just to look at are there ways to coordinate the um, different transportation um, that we have into um, better coordination and delivery of services? And, and that's the step that um, we are right now is moving forward. And that um, consultant will be bringing back a recommendation shortly to that committee, and then we'll bring it back to the full board for additional information. All right. Are there questions? This is it. An informational item, Mr. Evans. Um, it's, it's not a question; it's actually a comment. I, yes, sir. I want to say that I'm very pleased at the fact that the county, as well as the city, is trying to work on establishing a regional transit because we talk a lot about economic development, and this would be one of the steps that would be taken <clears throat> that would improve our economic development process here in Cumberland County so that we can get people from point A to point B. It's been long needed, and I'm glad to see that we are working with the city in order to make this happen, and I'm sure it will happen. Thank you so much for that update. I look forward to many more. Okay. Thank you, Mr. McFadden. Um, item four. Yes, ma'am. Madam Chair, that's a report on the city-county liaison committee item. I call on Sally Shutt. To, um, for an overview. Basically, um, it was presented at the city county liaison that we needed to take a look and do a comparison of the city and the county strategic plans. Ms. Shutt worked with the um, city, and um, she'd like to present that item at this moment. Um, back on March 20th, uh, Rebecca Rogers Carter from the city and I presented a comparison report to the Belleville Cumberland liaison committee um, and that intent was just to show similarities in our two organizations strategic goals um, in order to uh, identify partnerships and uh, relation strengthen our relationships so um, we looked at the five goals that the county has the six goals the city has and the first goal is safety public safety um, in comparing those reports Reducing crime, improving emergency and fire response, 911 communications, emergency management, and then court related issues. Uh, we're already collaborating. Um, the county will be participating in the Safe Street Summit on April 11th. The committee, the Joint Committee, is studying a red light camera program. And um, the next area of 
uh, commonality is economic development. Those Both city and county have an economic development goal. Um, both are looking at the corridors into uh, Cumberland and Fayetteville, uh, working on a Coliseum overlay district, economic development strategies, the partnerships that are already in place with Alliance and other organizations for job creation and retention, and homelessness is, is uh, an area where both our, um, organizations are working on, where there are community development departments and the continuum of care. And local foods and farmers market is another area in economic development. Now in our county plan, under our economic development goal is where we also include cultural and recreational services because those affect the quality of life which impacts economic development. The city has a separate goal for those areas. Both the city and the county share an infrastructure goal and of course that deals with effective zoning, land use codes and inspections. Again, both city and county are looking at gateway and beautification efforts for our corridors. Uh, for the county, we are um, assessing the county's space needs and developing a maintenance plan, whereas the city is looking at streets, sidewalks, and stormwater. We both share a goal of communications. Citizen engagement is very important to um, both of the strategic plans, working on our communications plan, collaborating with other local governments and governmental entities. For example, the Joint City County Liaison Committee is an example of that. Both the city and the county offer citizens academies and work with the state legislative delegation, hold meetings with those organizations, and we partner with the chamber for a federal advocacy program. And then organizational goal. Uh, for the Cumberland County, we our goal is to employ motivated, professional, and well-trained personnel who offer excellent customer service. The city of Fayetteville, um, their goal is to have unity of purpose in its leadership and sustainable capacity within the organization. So both of those focus in on providing excellent customer service to our citizens, the human resources area within our organizations, technology, automation, and service delivery, um, getting feedback from our citizens, our strategic plan, and then again the federal advocacy program. So those were um, a crosswalk of both strategic plans and where we have um, commonalities. Are there questions? Uh, three of us served on that committee and uh, we meet monthly. I think we meet next week. April 17th, I believe, is the next yes, meeting. April 17th. It was oh. amazing to see how close we were uh, with our uh, with our goals. But, okay. Mr. Evans. Quick question. Um, when you spoke of crime, um, being that that is an important issue to the city as well as the county, in what ways have there been ways and uh, that have been discussed that the county will be working hand in hand with the city in providing better protection for our citizens? Were there any ways that were suggested or? Well, the crime summit's coming up this Friday and members from the management team um, will be there and the sheriff's office is participating as well. And I hope, um, we will be there. I've already sent, um, we've notified the press that we will be participating on this Friday and it's where, in case citizens want to know? At the Crown Center. At the Crown Center. And um, it is a work in progress. Okay. okay. Any more questions? Thank you. Nominations? Item number, number five, nominations to boards and committees, adult home care community advisory committee, one vacancy. Mr. Melvin. Donna Atkins. Are there any other nominations? All right. Then we'll go with Mr. Edge to the appointments. Madam Chair, there are equal number of nominees and uh, for the two appointments we have, uh, I would like to uh, recommend approval of Rodney Anderson for the Workforce Development Board and Manish Mehta for the Tourism Development Authority. Second. 
Right, it's been moved and seconded that we um, approve these two appointments. Those in favor? Unanimous. And the next item is a closed session. And uh, since we don't have all participants here yet. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, then, with 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 uh, your approval, we will go ahead and have the economic development matter first in the closed session. Madam Chair, I move that uh, before we go into closed session for a attorney client matters pursuant to New North Carolina General Statute 143-318, 11A3, and 11A1. Uh, for an economic de development matter pursuant to 143-318-11A4 and uh, personnel matters 318-11A6. All right, ND. Second. Second. Those in favor? Unanimous. All right. May I have the two of you? Motion. 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 Motion.